Okay, so this is just a really quick video on how to use the font called Steel Tongs, which creates this um, sort of billing information at the end of a movie poster. So the first thing you want to do um, is go to your type tool in Photoshop. Actually, the first thing you want to do is this typeface, which you can see, see up here, Steel Tongs. I'm going to put that into Google Classroom for you. You need to install that on your machine whether it's your laptop at home or the machine the Macintosh that you're working on in college you need to install that first the folder will come with let me just show you guys there it is steel tongs regular it will come with this little um sorry this this is the, the file itself that you want to install it comes in italics and regular I think we'll stick with regular it will come with this little file here which if you open it up this text edit file is really important let me just close that down you need to have this open at all times because how this typeface works is when you want to create things like you can see here written by casting by music by and edited by whatever all of these there are certain letters that correspond with these okay how it works is the lowercase letter so you can see here for example a lowercase a corresponds to written by b casting by c music by and so on and the list is pretty long now these movies that you guys are creating for the film production students wouldn't have, you know, it wouldn't have 3D visual effects, for example, and an animation director. So um, we'll be just using a few of these. So if we go into Photoshop, um, now I've put this one together as an example for you. So there is a particular order that these billing, this billing information needs to go in. And um, now, as I said, we wouldn't have loads of different cast and crew on this. So there's probably certain ones that the film production students would have given you uh, information on. So their production company um, would be the first thing to go in. Then in association with CDCFE, the name of the college. And now I put in this other funder. I don't know. Let's say they got funding from a local business or I don't know where they would have gotten it from. Most of them probably won't have this but just in case you can put it in and then you have presents the name of the film and then the actors names go there okay and um, then you have music by the name costume designer edited by production designer director of photography written by and then lastly you have produced by and directed by okay so the way that this works is you go to your type tool make sure that you have steel tongs regular chosen I just set it at 18 point this is just a little A4 page so um, obviously yours is gonna be have to be a bigger type uh, point size because your posters are, are A1 so if I just click I'm actually gonna click and just drag a text box the width of this page okay let me just delete that out of there Um. so the first thing is production company so what you need to do is if you just want to type the word production company you need to first of all turn your cap locks on okay so I have cap locks on you can't see me doing that but I've turned it on if, if I write down okay so that just types production company all in uppercase now I'm going to take cap locks off I'm going to put a space I want to write in association with so I'm going to come down here to my text edit file and if I come along here in association with let's see now when you say in association with that's usually say in this case it's the the college here we go look in association with is a plus okay so I've taken cap locks off oops sorry mm -hmm. let me go to my text tool let me come down here I'm gonna put a space in if I do a plus which on my keyboard is like that in association with will appear okay and uh, I'm gonna turn cap locks back on I want to put in in association with CDCFE 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 okay now what's the next thing I want to put in and other funder okay actually do you know what we leave that out because let's assume there isn't another funder so the next thing is presents let's go back down here uh, presents here we go now it could be presents a presents a Helen Sheridan film or um, something like that but I think most of you will just have the word presents so it's a little colon so if I come down here, okay, I'm going to put a space, take it off, cap locks, and do a colon, presents, put it back on cap locks, um, and presents name of film. Oops, sorry, this is where 
I made a mistake. Let's take it. We need it on cap locks. There we go. Name of film. Okay, name of film. Oh, okay, then the actors' names go. So, in some instances, you know, if this was um, you know, a big Hollywood production, if the actors are really famous, their names would actually go before the name of the film. So it would be like presents Tom Cruise, Sandra Bullock, and Angelina Jolie in name of film. But I don't think any of those actors are in this movie, so we'll just put the name of the film first, then the actors' names. And then music by, so I think you get the gist. I'm not going to go down through the whole thing. Music by is an under, uh, a lowercase c. So take it off cap locks, lowercase c, music by, back on cap locks, name of... Oh, I keep doing this. Uh, okay, my cap locks is kind of sticky. Uh, name here. Okay, who's next? Costume designer. I'll just do one more. You, can you get the gist of it? I think it's pretty... Okay, lowercase d is costume designer. Let's put that in. Um, lowercase d, costume designer. Put it back on. Name here. And so on. Okay. Um, obviously, this is... You know, this will go... If, if I wanted to sort of run on. So a text box is a good idea because you can kind of make it wider or smaller, however much, you know, you need it to go. Um, and it works the same way if I wanted this to be, this type to be a different colour. You know, it's exactly the same as any other typeface, okay? So that's it. Make sure you save as save your work as you go. And um, make sure that you get this information off the film, guys, because, I mean, we can't really, you can't really put the information in without it. Uh, you could put in, I mean, what you could do as a proof, if you're putting proofs together, which you should be for the film um, students, you could do like what I've done, production company in association with name of film, actors' names, you know, and just put in name here, name here, name here. And when you send the proof to them, they'll suddenly see, oh God, it looks great, but actually they're not, that's not the real information. You know, sometimes when people see something, you might be asking and asking and asking for the information and they don't give it to you, but suddenly when they see their poster, with fake information in they realize okay it's gonna look so much better with the real inf information in there so that that might be a way of doing it so give it a shot